Welcome back to our ongoing series on gas girls and public health. In this episode, we dive into the heart of the science behind grilling. We're zooming into the microscopic level where the heat of the grill interacts with our food and produces certain chemicals, specifically polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines. These might sound like a mouthful and while they're indeed complex, they're also critical to our understanding of the health risks associated with grilling. These chemicals are formed when fats and juices from meats grilled at high temperatures drip onto the heat source. This creates smoke that can stick to the meat, potentially causing health issues. There is research shedding some light on the potential health risks associated with these chemicals. For instance, a 2021 study published in Chemical Research in Toxicology found that these chemicals could be mutagenic, meaning that they could cause changes to our DNA that increase the risk for cancer. Similarly, another study published in Nature Scientific Reports in 2017 highlighted that these chemicals that form during high temperature cooking have been found to be both mutagenic and carcinogenic linking to a variety of different cancers. However, it's crucial to recognize that these risks depend on a variety of factors, including the type of the food, how it's prepared, and the grilling temperatures. So that's all I have for this week's video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until the next week's video, take care.